Australopithecines lived some two million years ago in Africa. There is fossil evidence that they lived alongside more advanced forms of early man. Some anthropologists have proposed that Australopithecines were too stupid to learn from the more advanced hominids how to flake stone implements. We cannot, of course, examine this proposition directly, but let us see how readily one of the modern apes learned stone flaking from a modern man. The Bristol Zoo let me use Abang, a five-year-old orangutan. First of all, I showed him how to cut with a stone flake. Then I showed him how to make such a flake for himself. This film was shot after he had mastered both the jobs. In all, it took Abang a couple of hours to learn what to do. He can open this box only by cutting through a nylon cord which holds the lid shut. The hammerstone is a river pebble and the core a flint. The small core is strapped onto a board to give it a firmer base. Abang does know how to get at the food by knocking off a flake and using it. But he enjoys playing with the equipment and is not a mere slave of his stomach. Watch how he uses his prehensile foot to steady the box. But on his hand, the thumb is very short and he cannot manage our sort of precision grip. In spite of this, his hand is well suited to the task I set him. In stone flaking, the sharpest edge you can get is on unmodified primary flakes of the sort Abang has struck. A modern ape can make stone tools by imitation, and modern apes are thought to be even less intelligent than Australopithecines. It is thus probable that if Australopithecines did not make stone tools, it wasn't because they lacked the intelligence or the skill. A modern ape can make stone tools by imitation, and modern apes are thought to be even less intelligent than Australopithecines. It is thus probable that if Australopithecines did not make stone tools, it wasn't because they lacked the intelligence or the skill.